Annie from KetoFocus.com and I like to make really easy keto recipes. Today I've teamed up with Chalk Zero and I'm going to show you how to make no-bake keto cheesecake bites with only using five ingredients. Let's get started. This recipe for keto cheesecake bites is not only easy to make, but it only requires five ingredients. We're gonna use cream cheese, heavy cream, chalk zero vanilla syrup, a little bit of lemon juice, and then to cover the outside, we're using chalk zero's baking chips. To start, we're gonna add eight ounces of softened cream cheese to a medium-sized bowl. You wanna beat that together along with one half cup of chalk zero vanilla syrup. We're using Chalk Zero's vanilla syrup in this recipe for two reasons. First, it provides a vanilla flavor, and second, it's going to be our sweetener for this recipe. Chalk Zero's syrups are sugar-free and sugar-alcohol-free, so if you're trying to avoid sugar alcohols, this is the perfect recipe for you. Also, add one teaspoon of lemon juice. The lemon just helps develop that cheesecake flavor. You wanna beat these ingredients with an electric mixer until they're light and fluffy. In a separate bowl, we're gonna add one cup of heavy whipping cream and beat it until stiff peaks form. Carefully fold in the whipped cream into our cream cheese mixture. Now it's time to scoop up our cheesecake bites. I like to use a cookie scoop to do this, but you could use a tablespoon too. Lay down each of your cheesecake balls onto a parchment lined baking tray. And we're gonna freeze this for a few hours or overnight or just until your cheesecake balls have hardened. Once your cheesecake bites have hardened, remove them from the freezer and now it's time to dip them in some melted chocolate. The chocolate that I'm gonna be using today is Chalk Zero's Dark Chocolate Baking Chips. They have a wide selection of flavors, from white chocolate, milk chocolate, even some seasonal flavors, so you can use whichever flavor appeals to you. Melt your chocolate in the microwave at 30 second intervals, stirring in between until it's melted. You could also use the double boiler method if you don't wanna use a microwave. Once your chocolate is melted, it's time to dip our cheesecake bites into the chocolate to coat them. Place them back on the parchment lined baking tray to cool. To allow them to solidify a little longer, you can pop them back in the freezer. Remember to tag Chalk Zero with all of your delicious pictures of your cheesecake bites, and don't forget to visit our website to purchase all your Chalk Zero products.